Hello. Thanks for having me up. Appreciate it. Questions for Coach? I feel like I should ask you about tackling. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a, it's a great question, and it's relevant today with, you know, concussions and injuries. And just what Coach Flo said, just – Keep your head out of it. You know, the, the helmet wasn't meant to be used as a weapon to strike. And, you know, you can tackle with your shoulder. You can tackle with your body. So we, um, we're just trying to get everybody to talk the same language, promote player safety, and, and show guys how you can be a dominant tackler and a dominant defense with a, a kind of a head out of it style. Um, that, that's all. Pretty simple. There's a lot of drills and angles that we want to take and counting on leverage and, and trust of the defense. So. But just common language, common practices, you know, if Mike Smith runs a drill, Rumpf runs a drill, or it's going to be the same language that they hear, and it's not going to be taught different. And safety is going to be at the top for everybody. How hard is that to get guys to maybe unlearn things that they may have been doing for 10 years? It is, it's hard. It's hard. Um, you know, for 25 years or whatever, the, the clinic was get your head across, and, and you have a, a guy coming at you, and all of the brunt of the power is being taken by your neck and your head. And we don't want to do that. You know, there's ways to do it where it's not, not like that. So uh, we just got to – every day it takes weeks and, and months to, to get it right and get it out in a competitive situation. And um, Even in, in these segments on the field, there's no pads, there's no contact, but every play there's an opportunity to put yourself in position for a really good tackle and a really safe tackle. And if you start – Coaching that now, like we are, every clip of film, uh, you're you're going to get good results. But it, it it is difficult. You're you're exactly right. We all have habits, right? You you go to a new place and you sent your stuff to work a certain way, and they're telling you, no, we want it this way. It's going to take you a few times. So, based on the based on the studies with tackling and whatnot, the game is as a game of inches. So obviously, you you tell your guys this is how you want to tackle. You want to have your head here. Been been in the game. A guy ducks just a little bit and the trajectories change. How hard is it to practice this without you guys being physical in practice and practicing tackling and only getting that chance to really practice in a game? We just we just really focus on their eyes. If you think about it, the whole game is pretty simple, but it's seen through your eyes. Like everything that's happening is through your eyes. So if your eyes are in the right position, then your, your body, your head, everything's going to be in the right position. So we just start – with that baseline, let, let's just look at every play and see if your eyes are in the right position. Regardless of the physicality, that one extra step or one extra you know, finish step is what's going to bring the contact. But let's just start with how you see the world and how you see the game, which is through your eyes. So we'll start with that conversation. Eye level, eye placement, all those things. How intriguing for you was the opportunity to work with Brian? Oh, it was fantastic. You know, <laughs> Brian is – one of the things that's great about him is he's so humble. I, you know, we've been here months, and he's been a part of some pretty special defenses and some special teams. You guys know that. I've not heard a word about that. It's about the guys in our room. It's about our players. And he's got a great, quiet confidence in himself and his convictions. Um, so that's been, that's been awesome to be a part of, you know. And it's never about – this team, we used to do it. It's, it's about what are we doing now and uh, gives us the opportunity to be collaborative about everything. And great conversations come out of it, some great ideas, and it's, it's been awesome so far. What have your early impressions been of, of Brian Asamoah? B.A., man, what a gifted athlete and uh, brings unreal energy. Uh, just keep getting reps in, in the new scheme, and he's one of those chess pieces that – you're going to see him all over the field. You know, he could rush, he could drop, he can he can do a bunch of different things. He's athletic enough to play man. Um, love his energy in the room every day, and still a young player who's you, you got to learn how to be a pro in this league. And he he's doing a great job of that, and taking on a new a new defensive staff, and uh, you know just running with it. So he's been awesome. What is that? I guess the key to teaching a system where there's a lot of movement pre-snap. I mean, even just at practice yesterday, we can see a lot of the coming up to the line of scrimmage, moving back, a lot of you know defensive backs in different spots. Like for linebackers, like what what's kind of the key to teaching that? Um, 
what Brian's great about, what Flo's great about is, you know, you're going to have to line up in the B gap, the D gap. You're going to have to line up out, you know, over number two. So let's teach those techniques. Um, let, let's teach that, that kick or that punch. <laughs> and you have to use it. Everyone's going to have to use it. And then now we give the whole thing a name. And, hey, guess what? You're, you've done this, but you're doing it under a different name. So you just teach techniques. You, you, you teach a guy who's in the A gap how to do it, in the B gap how to do it. And then you, hey, say in this defense, you're going you're gonna to go out to the C gap and do the same thing we just taught you. So if you whittle it down to what the defensive techniques are and teach them, then you can move the pieces around uh, as much as you want. We, we have a lot of circuits. So, you know, we'll move around into stations and, and everyone's going to play some piece of coverage, some piece of pass rush, and gives us a chance to see what guys' natural IQ for those things are and also get us to work with other positions. So that, that's the, the fun part of the, the – Brian is a fundamental and technique-based uh, guy with, with a great scheme. But we're, we're going to be great at the techniques and then just move the pieces around. Is that common with how you've done it in the past? Very. Uh, you know, I've been with some really good people. There are some, there are some situations where the answer to everything is scheme. And what I love about our staff and, and our defense is the answer is, is toughness first and then fundamentals, technique, effort, and, and the scheme is – not last, like it's not important. But if you don't have those things, which is what's great about this time to build that culture and build those techniques, you know, I try, we try to explain to the guys something they got yesterday in practice is going to be the play that wins a game. So I, I need you to not be sitting here like it's a Tuesday in May and this has to be a rep that's going to win a game. And you have to sharpen that rep, that, that technique, and – Watch it and dissect it and get everything out of it and then keep getting as many of them as you can and, and then it shows up uh, in the fall. And that's that's the building part right now. Anything else for Coach? What was uh, Coach Flores like as a freshman? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. Obviously, Brian's a wonderful guy, and I mean that too. But so I was a grad assistant, and, and Flo – I believe he had shoulder. I don't want to get into too much, but she'll she'll kick me. I think he had a shoulder surgery coming out of high school, and so the extent of my interaction with him was, you know, bring some stuff over, you know, post surgery, met his mom, um, do those kind of things, and then I was a a grad assistant who held cards up for the offense <laughs> when he was on the team, and have just always had a great respect for him and, and the way he does things the right way, um, the way he's advanced in this profession and, 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 you know, is a man of principles and just a ton of respect for that. We both went to the same school. We both graduated from BC and uh, kind of know what it's like to be there and the, and the guys who coached us and the people we played with. So always, you know, at the combine, the senior bowl, whatever it is, always, a, you know, a good, Hello and a, and, a, and a warm greeting and you know I know he's there if if I need him for anything over the last twenty years and he knows the same and it's it's a I, I love being in the room with him. BC grad right here. What year? <laughs> Can't tell you. I'd have to. Freshman you. dorm. <laughs> <laughs> what Costa. freshman? Costa. Yeah. Fenwick. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right.